In 2007, the primary focus of EPA regulations was on the reduction of particulate matter, resulting in the addition of a diesel particulate filter and an oxidation catalyst. Now the EPA regulations are targeting a reduction in nitrogen oxides, NOx, in combustion emissions. By 2010, these levels must be reduced by 83%. With our reliable Bluetech technology, Detroit Diesel meets these emission standards head-on while simultaneously improving fuel economy. The new Detroit diesel engines have all been designed from the ground up to meet today's near-zero emission standards. Detroit diesel engines utilize Bluetech technology, a selective catalytic reduction, or SCR system, to meet 2010 EPA emission standards for commercial vehicles. As part of the Daimler Trucks family, Detroit Diesel is using Bluetech technology which is used today in hundreds of thousands of Daimler trucks worldwide. Detroit Diesel's adoption of Bluetech for 2010 enables us to improve engine performance and fuel economy while maintaining durability and reliability. So how does Bluetech work? Detroit Diesel's Bluetech works by harnessing the power of chemical reactions to reduce NOx to nitrogen and water, both present in the air we breathe. After hot exhaust gases leave the diesel particulate filter, they are treated with a simple spray of diesel exhaust fluid, or DEF, frequently referred to as urea. As a result, the exhaust leaving the tailpipe on each and every Detroit Diesel engine using Bluetech has NOx levels below the 2010 EPA mandated standard. In addition to the diesel particulate filter and oxidation catalyst, trucks equipped with Bluetech will have a DEF tank, DEF injection system, and an SCR catalyst. Depending on your vehicle's configuration, this equipment may be mounted separately or wrapped up in one neat package. Trucks will also be monitored with onboard diagnostics, OBD. So now let's see what this means to you. This is as simple as fueling your truck. The DEF tank will be located next to your fuel tank on the driver's side of the vehicle. Depending on your driving and fueling cycle, the tanks will range in size from 6 to 23 gallons. Since DEF consumption is equal to approximately 2% of diesel fuel used, you will only need to fill your DEF tank every 2 to 3 fuel fills. DEF can be purchased at your local fueling station in small disposable containers or at pumps available for traditional bulk filling. Some fleets will choose to keep bulk quantities of DEF at their own location. However you choose to purchase your diesel exhaust fluid, there are a few things to remember when filling the tank. First, never put DEF in your diesel fuel tank. Second, to avoid system malfunction, never put anything but diesel exhaust fluid in your DEF tank. The fill nozzle is specifically sized to fit only on the DEF tank to help you remember. Third, DEF freezes at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 Celsius. This will not affect your ability to fill your DEF tank because filling stations will have heated pumps. Fourth, DEF is corrosive to aluminum over a long period of time. Make sure to wipe off any spills on your truck with water or a mild solvent. You might be wondering how you will know when you're running low on DEF. Well, that's where the new onboard diagnostics come into play. This system will continuously monitor your DEF levels. You will notice a new LED diesel exhaust fluid monitoring system on your dash. These solid green lights will indicate when your tank is full, half full, and has one quarter of its capacity remaining. When the DEF tank has only 15% remaining, the green light will turn to yellow and an additional low DEF warning light will illuminate. When the DEF tank reaches 5% full, the DEF gauge light will turn red and the DEF indicator light will remain illuminated yellow. When this happens, 
the vehicle will receive a 25% D rate in power and be automatically limited to 55 miles per hour. Continuing to operate the vehicle under this derated condition until the tank is empty will induce a speed limit on the vehicle. When this happens, the DEF gauge will flash red and the malfunction indicator light will illuminate. What you need to remember is that DEF is just as important to running your vehicle as diesel fuel. So monitor your gauges and keep on trucking. Now let's answer a few frequently asked questions. What will happen if DEF freezes in my DEF tank? As mentioned before, the DEF freezes at 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius. If you are parked for an extended amount of time with temperatures at or below these levels, your DEF will freeze. However, the system is designed to accommodate this situation. Your engine will start and operate as normal while the system thaws your DEF. What happens if DEF is put in my diesel fuel tank? Just like you would not put anything but fuel in your fuel tank, do not put DEF in your fuel tank. If DEF accidentally gets into your fuel tank, there are two steps you should take. One, do not start your engine, and two, call your local Detroit diesel authorized location. What if DEF gets on my skin? DEF is non-toxic. If DEF does get on your skin, wash your skin with a mild soap. What is this white crystal substance on my tank? This is most likely due to a small spill of DEF that has had the water portion of DEF evaporated off. Remember, DEF is non-toxic. Where can I find a location to fill my DEF tank? DEF locations are located throughout North America. Please visit www.DetroitDiesel.com for more detailed locations. We hope this answers most of your questions about driving a Detroit Diesel Blue Tech engine. For more information, please visit www.DetroitDiesel.com or your local authorized Detroit Diesel location.